Good morning, Cross Creek friends and family. Thanks so much for tuning in to Devotions on this Monday morning. It is August the 24th already. Your faith can move mountains is uh, what we're going to be going through this morning. And uh, the verse is Mark 11, 22 through 24. Have faith in God. If you have faith in God and don't doubt, you can tell this mountain to get up and jump into the sea, and it will. Everything ask in prayer will be yours if you only have faith. Let's get started in prayer. We'll jump right in. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you so much for loving us. Thank you, Lord, that uh, as broken vessels, you've come to patch the wounded, Lord, and, and restore us to who you want us to be. And we know it's a lifelong process, and we just ask that you would be with us. Help us to have the faith, Lord, that at times we uh, just seem to avoid or it just eludes us and we, we need to be more proactive in. Lord, help us to know how best to do it, to how best to serve you so that we can um, lead others into the saving knowledge of Jesus Christ. We thank you. We praise you for all that you are. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, let's get started here. Faith opens the door to miracles. God has set up the universe in a hierarchy of laws and the law of faith is a higher law than the law of nature. That's where miracles come in. When people have faith in God, it can actually do more than the laws of physics. Does God still perform miracles today? Absolutely. God is working in your life and all around the world. Every minute of every day, his power has never diminished and it will never run out. Faith says, God, I am trusting that you can move any mountain to accomplish your will. And it's true. He says, have faith in Mark 11, 22 through 24. If you have the faith in God and don't doubt, you can tell this mountain to move. In other verses, he says, if you have the faith of a mustard seed, the smallest thing, and I think the illustration is trying to say, if you only had this much faith, this is what you could do. You don't even have this much faith. And I don't believe that, that, that it's a cut. I think it's Christ understanding the difficulty that men have to have faith. We have faith in the things that are easy to have faith in. But when it's the tough stuff, it's hard. When it's, when it's necessary, if it's somebody sick or dying in our lives, we're quick to say we want to have faith and we pray and, and, uh, and maybe we put everything we can into that faith out of desperation um, but it's different than that day-to-day -day faith that God's called us to, to have faith all the time, in every circumstance. Trust God. It may not always work out the way you want it to, but it will certainly work out the way God does in wanting you to be the person he's called you to be. You see, God is out to make you better, make me better, and he knows best how to do it. And it's not by my rules. As much as I'd like to think that I know what I'm doing, I don't. 55 years old, I'm probably more confused than I've ever been. But God knows, and he leads. And if we trust in him and follow him, he'll continue to do so. Ask yourself this question. What's the mountain in my life that needs moving? Many of us believe our mountains are unmovable. The truth is, things will never change if you don't believe they will. What makes you so certain that your mountain won't move? Now this, I, and I think I hear this more than ever, um, and I don't know if this is just something that's a, a nowadays type of thing, but you hear people say, well, this is who I am, and you have to accept it. And if this is who you are and you say that, well, this is that's just the way I am. I'm going to encourage you, to, you don't have to be that person. You can change. God is in the business of making us better people. Don't let that ever be an excuse. Well, I'm really bold. You know, I'm obnoxious or uh, at times I can be mean. That's just who I am. But that's not who God wants you to be. And he wants you and expects you to do the hard work to change. Remember, those are his people that you deal with on a daily basis. He loves them. Regardless of whether they're Christians or not, that's his creation, and he loves his creation. He wants more than anything for them to accept him. It's your testimony that may speak into their lives. Don't miss out on that opportunity. 
What makes you so th certain that your mountain won't move? You limit God's power when you believe the lie that a mountain is too big for him to move. When you underestimate what God wants to do in your life, you hinder his work. Jesus did not do many miracles there because of their lack of faith. Matthew 13, 58. God is calling you to exercise your faith, and your faith will supersede the laws or law of nature. This has been proven over and over again in the past, and God will continue to move mountains in the future. I was talking to uh, a friend here at church on Sunday, and uh, he works with, um, with, with brain, I don't know would you, if he's a brain surgeon. I know he is a specialist, a brain specialist, maybe that's what I should say. My nephew, when he was around 12 years old, got into a bike accident and caved in the side of his head. Um, he had to be in an induced coma. They weren't sure if he was going to live. Uh, he ended up losing 30% of his brain. And today, if you met him, you wouldn't be able to tell. Yes, there's some damage there. Um, obviously, 30% of his brain was damaged, but he functions, he walks, talks, there's, you just can't tell. I mean, he has memory issues and things like that. But God worked a miracle in that boy's life. And if you talk to my friend, he'd, he'd tell you that's, he's dealt with people with those type of injuries and they die or they have severe, severe handicaps. And it was miraculous how God worked that out. And we have, to, we have to keep that in mind. It doesn't always happen that way when we pray, but it did for Trevor. And I'm thankful for that because he's a blessing to his parents and to his family. And, and we really, really love him. And we're glad that he's doing great. So, uh, and he's in his twenties now. Terrific, big ox of a guy. Um, God does miracles. He doesn't do them to strengthen your faith. He does them because they're the right thing to do. You're called to have faith regardless of what he does. God bless. Have a great day.